Belushi. I'm uh, from uh, Oman. I'm a medical student. Uh, if you don't know where Oman is, it's uh, the country next to Dubai. <laughs> uh, my happiest memory is the day I was selected to study medicine. But at that moment, how life changing and experience it would be, I never realized. Medicine school brought me to the capital city of Oman, Muscat. It was very different, very crowded, and very busy. Fast food had become an essential part of my life. And one day, I woke up with weight issue. It didn't concern me much, and I kept at it. Three years later, I started my, medical, my clinical training at my hometown, Suhar. Every day, I was assigned to take care uh, of a patient. It wasn't a difficult task for me, as most of the cases were cases of cardiovascular diseases, and I'm really good with the cardiovascular system medicine. Uh, so one day, following up a patient admitted for acute myocardial infarction, and this is how we say heart attack. Uh, I was asked by my supervisor to take care of the patient and give him the advice on discharge. He was a 55-year-old male. He looked worried, irritated, and angry. He refused to talk and listen to me either. It was very clear that the main reason behind his illness was diabetes and obesity. In a very, in a very friendly conversational tone, I went to him and explained in detail his condition, the need to take medicine uh, regularly, and most importantly, to change his lifestyle to ensure weight loss. I give him some tips uh, about healthy diet, like eat more fruits and vegetables, exercise regular, regularly, and I think I did a great job. Actually, I was proud of myself. I give him everything as it's written in the book. However, no, no replies were forthcoming. So I asked him if he has any questions. And then he said, he looked me in the ass and said, are you serious? Do you think I'll take any advice from you regarding fitness? Seriously? Haven't you looked at yourself in the mirror recently? You are not qualified to give me any advices on health. I bet from five years from now, you will end up in my position. I stood speechless. I was horrified. To the truth to be told, I was twice his size. With weight of 185 kg, pounds that equal 85 kgs. And that was the harshest truth anyone has ever told me. I was devastated, so I left the place quietly. And at that moment, I realized that Having high grades is not the only thing that qualifies me to practice medicine. Even how I look plays a role in my career. So I went, I went back to my supervisor, and I asked him to assign someone else as a replacement. And I never saw that patient again. Two weeks later, I saw the patient name in the admission list. He was readmitted with another heart attack. Later that day, I was told he passed away. I was sad, I felt guilty and responsible. I wasn't a good model for my own patients. As a doctor, I knew that he was right. In the near future, I will end up in his position. And that day, I decided that my life has to change, that I will record every challenge I face and share it with others in order to raise awareness about obesity. In the last 10 years, obesity has become the most alarming epidemic all over the globe. In Oman, 23% of the women are obese, and 16% of the men are. While in the US, 35% of the women and 32% of the men are obese as well. Now, though the difference between the numbers may look very large, the causes are the same. Obesity is a result of imbalance between caloric intake and the calories the body actually uses. And globally, fast food has been labeled to be the main cause of increased caloric intake. But in Oman, until recently, fast food was not the cause, was not the issue. Overconsumption of the traditional food and the modernized cultural habits are the main problem. Um, in Oman, the main meal is lunch, and rice is the staple for it. Traditions require that all the family members share food from the same plates, and now no one can get up until the plate, the plate is empty. Now, as rice is not bad enough, the sweets that follow 
halwa that's eating with uh, bitter, strong Omani coffee is made of starch, sugar, and ghee. I think most of you are shocked. <laughs> and uh, just like uh, any other place in the Gulf, in Ramadan, where people fast, it should be the month of fasting and atonement, the Omani hospitality is uh, experienced or delivers as, as food. I bet most of you have seen Ramadan in the Gulf. You have this uh, massive food phenomena with a huge amount of food being delivered. After fasting for one day, you eat for one full year, in one night. <laughs> and just like the US, modernization has been hitting Oman. Escalators, elevators, vehicles, all ensures a physical activity of minimum. And though progressive we are, it's still socially unaccepted to see females exercise outside their own houses. So basically, traditions preclude individual choice or restraint. Though the original Bedouin culture was tough on the body and food was eating to survive, and that's unlike today's scenario. Um, I didn't show this, but I think most of you know the Omani halwa, and this is usually the traditional things people great uh, to present Omani hostilat, host, host, hospitality. Sorry. In 2012, the incidence, the incidence of diabetes in Oman was 30% of the population, and the US was only 10%. The following statistics shows you the, the, prevalent, the highest prevalence over the globe for diabetes. And here's one place where you don't see the US at the top. Actually, it's not even in the list. While we in the Arabian Gulf has a dubious distinction in leading the whole pack, UAE, Saudi Arabia, uh, Bahrain, Qatar, but there is no audience, there's no delegates from Bahrain and uh, Qatar except Khaled. He is not here. <laughs> Hello, Khaled. So this means that we are, as uh, Arabians, are genetically more imprinted to be more prone to have diabetes than any other population, which, make, which makes obesity a more alarming epidemic that we need to focus on. Uh, now, obesity has been an issue all over the world, and there have been many campaigns and many programs to defeat it. But the global finance and media has not been helping or even playing a role in it. But in Oman, media does not, doesn't promote fast food. Obese actors and actresses pirating in front of us daily in our own living, living room makes it acceptable. And therefore, I think food education can play a major role in defeating obesity in Oman. My initiative, Meet Your Food, is a food education program that aims to reduce the, privil the prevalence of obesity as a risk factor for diabetes and cardiovascular diseases among women by food education and lifestyle modifications. Now, how we do it? Uh, we, we deal with the patient who get admitted in the hospital. On this charge, we give them a contact number. If they are interested, they can contact us, we can arrange a date, a day, a date, and a place where we can meet and talk about food and lifestyle. And then we analyze the, pa the, the, the woman or the patient to find what are the risk factors or what exactly the cause of obesity. And then we tailor a program that's defined to, the, to that's particular to that patient and we follow, follow how progressive the program is. Today, more people are dying because of cardiovascular diseases and diabetes than HIV. And I think it's, it's in our hand the change requ required to be healthy, if but we believe. This awareness, my friends, is the need of the hour. Thank you. <laughs>